एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ सिक्सटींथ में व्हाट एन एंड टू व्हाट सीम लाइक अ टेरिबल डे मार्केट शॉर्ट अप नियरली टू परसेंट इन द लास्ट वन वन एंड हाफ आवर आई हैव नॉट सीन दिस काइंड ऑफ फाइट बिटवीन बेयर्स एंड बुल्स ऑन एन एक्सपायरी डे फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ द डे सीम टू बी डोमिनेटेड बाय बेयर्स टिल अबाउट वन थर्टी टू ओ क्लॉक बट द शेयर अमाउंट ऑफ डाउन कैंडल्स फॉलोड बाय अप कैंडल्स मे हैव क्रिएट हैव वॉक फॉर मेनी मेनी ट्रेडर्स टूडे इन्वेस्टर्स टूडे वुड हैव लाफ दर वे टू द बैंक्स हाउर बोथ ट्रेडर्स शॉर्ट एंड लॉन्ग वुड हैव सफर्ड लॉसेज प्रॉब्लम टूडे जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द चार्ट कंटिन्यूअस फॉल टिल अबाउट इलेवन थर्टी अ बिट ऑफ कंसोलिडेशन शार्प अप शार्प डाउन देन कंटिन्यूस डाउन दिस वॉज नियरली अबाउट फिफ्टीन फाइव मिनिट डाउन कैंडल्स दैट इज सेवेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स कंटिन्यूसली डाउन जस्ट माइनर वन और टू ग्रीन कैंडल्स हेयर एंड देन कंटिन्यूसली फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन अप कैंडल्स another 75 minutes of continuous up after 4 5 up or down candles many traders reverse their positions i can't even imagine how many times stop loss would have triggered today for the traders this is a ferocious short covering i don't know whether the people buying here were actually making money or reducing their losses today i try to correlate nifty with tcs and hdfc bank and also the wix the patterns today are similar nifty tcs HDFC lot milder, TCS is closer to Nifty. Fall, 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 continuous up, continuous up, continuous up. VIX was falling all the time when the markets were going up towards the end. It was going up when the market was going down. Needless to say, Reliance had similar patterns. In fact, Reliance was trading in the red for most of the day. It recovered two percent from day's low between two o'clock and three fifteen. And in case you didn't notice, this is my favorite one thirty time block. Markets were falling till one thirty. After that, for shorters, all hell broke loose. Market action. What you see on your screen is the outcome of the last two hours. It is not how the entire day panned out. Nifty closed nearly one percent up. Bank Nifty recovered to close half percent up. Nifty IT was up one and a half percent. Primarily led by Infosys, which was up. Two and a half percent. HL results were expected to be fantastic. They were better than what was expected. Profit more than fifty percent up. The stock suddenly went ten percent up after the results were announced. Vedanta Board has approved raising funds of eighty five hundred crore size. They have simultaneously approved giving dividend of eleven rupees per share. This is really silly. You are literally borrowing money to pay dividend. The dividend goes to Vedanta parent company in the UK mostly. They need to pay their debts. As a result, the India entity suffers. They take loan to pay a huge dividend. Most of the dividend goes outside India to Vedanta's parent. M and M, as expected, results were good. Pat was up 32 percent. The stock went up another 3 percent today. M and M is, however, peaking now. It may go up to any extent. Once a stock is in all-time high zone, there is technically no resistance. However, it is fairly valued and it may correct very soon. Colgate results. Market is in a confused zone. Market doesn't know how to value the stock. It is going down continuously. It was up towards the end today. Nearly everything went up in the last one hour. Otherwise, the market does not know how to react to Colgate's results. I don't have Colgate yet in my investment portfolio, but I've been stocking up consumption stocks in the last one month or so. Some of the recent purchases were HUL and Page Industries. When markets were falling today, gold actually crossed seventy three four hundred, and then it fell in a heap. Closed below seventy three thousand. Brent is in the same zone eighty two point five. Bitcoin went up significantly yesterday. It has corrected a bit today six six one seven five. The mathematics in U.S. markets is really crazy, crazier than what we have in India. The cartoon on the left, which I saw on LinkedIn today, sums it up all. The CPI number was really low. Markets loved it. It shot up. S and P up one point one seven percent. Nasdaq up one and a half percent. Most of the big stocks were up. However, if you just scrape the surface, homeowner inflation—that is the cost of owning a home—that's up six percent. Rent up five and a half percent. Food four percent. Insurance twenty percent. Transportation ten percent. For common man, this is an inflation of around six to seven percent at least. I really don't know why the markets are dancing with joy because CPI is low. The only possible answer is this is paving the way for an interest rate cut. However, most governments globally get away with any number as long as it is as per a published method. Public would buy any inflation number. Sector snapshot: This was a version of approximately 12 o'clock. A bunch of reds, especially in the top sectors. But this picture changed 
completely towards the end of the day. Besides the automobile and insurance, nearly everything was green. Banking, HDFC Bank, Bajaj Finance, Kotak Mahindra continue to be towards their 52-week lows. Today, SBI continued to go down another 1% cut. Besides SBI, each and every stock was up. Software and IT services besides InfoEdge, everything was up and up a lot. Oil and gas started well, but then a lot of stocks fell. In yesterday's update, I talked about my expectation that the windfall tax might get cut soon. It was cut significantly yesterday night. MRPL, Chennai Petro, all of them opened in the green, but then after that came correction and they closed in the red. Automobiles and auto parts was actually down a lot. It recovered towards the end. This sector has been more down than up in the last five days. MLM actually held the sector together, otherwise things would have been a lot worse. Sector of the day perhaps was aerospace and defense. HL up 10%, BL another 2%. BL has been going up steadily over the last 10-15 days. It is nearly at a lifetime high now. Mazagan docks another 2%. Most of the defense stocks were up significantly today. The sector was up 6%. Nifty 50, last few updates I was talking about shallow volumes. Look at the volume pattern today. Nearly everything was up and up a lot at very high volumes. This was a big short covering. Reliance, TCS, HDFC, everything was 100% or more in terms of volumes. It seems there was a big party going on today. I'm not sure if it was just DIIs. I think there was a significant participation from FIIs who were significantly short for the entire month. I may be wrong, but FIIs seem to have bought a lot today in very heavy volumes. Very few players were down today. State Bank, Maruti, Adani Enterprises, Tata Motors, Power Grid. All these had already run up a lot, but all the beaten down stocks, Reliance, TCS, HDFC, all of them showed significant short covering. One notable point is nothing was up 7-8%, 10% kind in the Nifty index. The best performance was MNM 3%. Similarly, nothing was down too much either. Very less stocks were down. Within that also, Maruti Suzuki was down most, 2.1%. Today, next 50, however, had shallow volumes, which means that today the buying was actually happening in the big boys only and not in the Nifty next 50. 17 stocks down, 33 up, breadth was good, HL up 10%, but besides that, not much happening. Canara Bank was down most, 4.5%. IT index, everything was up, bank index, Bandhan was down 5.5%, HDFC up 1.5%, ICICA 0.6%. These two kind of decide how the sector is going to appear. Overall, the indice was up half a percent. Public sector banks were not looking that great today, led by SBI down 1%. PNB up, Union Bank up, Indian Bank up, everything else was down. My portfolio was down 4.87% yesterday. Today, it closed 3.55% down. But I did some buying today. I bought Chennai Petro 150 shares and I averaged lower on MRPL, 1000 more stocks of MRPL. I had expected that the windfall news will take these two stocks up today. That didn't happen towards the closing. However, a lot of other stocks did well. Mass Financial was up 2.5%, Data Patterns up 3.5%, the banking twins Indian and Union Bank were doing well. So overall, the portfolio recovered by another 42,000. The losses are at 1,41,000. 3.55% is in a striking distance of becoming green any day now. I was very sure that the markets will be totally out of control today, so I did not get into any FNO day today. Let me talk about the question I asked yesterday about Fusion Microfinance, the projected EPS. And after this, I'll talk about Mezagon Doc. What is the likely EPS and stock price for Mezagon Doc when the results are announced? Idea is to see if HL 10% kind of rally today can happen on the day when Mezagon Doc announces the results also. Let's start with Fusion first. So yesterday we talked about EPS trend 10, 11, 12, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 13. If we extrapolate this, the likely EPS for the next four quarters will be roughly like 14, 15, 17, 18, approximately speaking. However, if fusion gets into a totally new state, then these numbers could change by two or three rupees EPS instead of one also, which is a significant jump. So even at these numbers, which is an average of around 16 rupees EPS per quarter. Now, if you are defensive, we could say 60. If you are offensive, we could say about 70. Looking at the trend, 38, 50. So somewhere between 60 to 70 is the likely EPS next year, which gives a stock price of roughly between 600 to 700. Now, all quarters will not be same. There will be some quarters where EPS gain will be very high. 
सम क्वार्टर्स मे शो नेगेटिव और नो रिटर्न सो विल टू टेक दैट इन स्ट्राइड बट दट टारगेट आर ब्रॉड रेंज इज सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड सो एट करंट प्राइस ऑफ फोर एट्टी दिस इज वेरी इजली समवेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट काइंड ऑफ रिटर्न विद इन एन ईयर नाउ दिस इज नॉट अ बाय रिकमेंडेशन आइडिया ऑल्सो शो केस टू यू हाउ वी कैन यूज ई पी एस प्रोजेक्शन विच मे और मे नॉट हैपन टू प्रिडिक्ट स्टॉक प्राइसेस एंड एंटर इन टू ट्रेड अकॉर्डिंगली नाउ वेन आई इन्वेस्टेड इन फ्यूजन माइक्रो फाइनेंस माई होराइजन इज रफली फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स इन दिस टाइम फ्रेम आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्यूजन टू गिव मल्टीपल्स सो इवन इफ इट गिव्स ए ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट काइंड ऑफ सी एस जी आर आई एम हैप्पी देर कुड बी वन और टू बैड ईयर एज वेल इन बिटवीन दैट्स ओके एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज मल्टीप्लाइंग माई कैपिटल बाई टू एक्स और थ्री एक्स इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर फाइव ईयर्स आई एम फाइन नाउ दिस इज अ स्मॉल कैप देर कुड बी अ लॉट दैट कुड गो रॉन्ग हेयर ऑल्सो बट आई हैव कवर दैट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो अराउंड सेक्टर एनालिसिस दैट दिस इज अ पी बैक्ड कंपनी आई वुड एक्सपेक्ट दैम टू हैव अ डिसेंट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ गवर्नेंस आई कीप यू पोस्टेड ऑन हाउ दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज डूइंग ओवर द टाइम ऑल राइट लेट चेक इफ मैजगन विल गिव द रिटर्न लाइक एच एल ऑन द रिजल्ट डे सेल्स ऑफ वन एट वन सिक्स टू जीरो सेवन नाइन टू वन सेवन थ्री अ डिप इन सेप्टेंबर इंक्रीज बैक टू नॉर्मल इन दिसंबर लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ डिप इन सेप्टेंबर सो सेप्टेंबर सेल्स आर नॉट वेरी हाई ई पी एस टेन सेवनटीन सिक्सटीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन थर्टी लेट्स चेक द एनुअल नंबर्स टी टी एम नंबर्स विच इज थ्री पब्लिश क्वार्टर ऑफ दिस ईयर एंड वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर सेवेंटी फाइव ई पी एस अगेंस्ट फिफ्टी थ्री फॉर द पब्लिश ईयर होपफुली दिस नंबर विल इंक्रीज ओनली लेट्स इफ यू कैन प्रिडिक्ट वॉट दिस नंबर विल बिकम वेन द रिजल्ट आर फाइनली आउट एंड एक्स्ट्रा पोलेट दीज नंबर ऑन वाई ऑन वाई एंड क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर बेसिस टू सी वॉट विल बी द नंबर वन ईयर डाउन द लाइन विच इज वाई ऑन वाई ग्रोथ फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज द प्राइस एक्सपेक्टेशन वन ईयर डाउन द लाइन so a there could be a rally when the results are out for mazagan this quarter just like hl ran up 10% today b we are trying to see if we can predict the price one year down the line based upon the eps growth which is likely i'll share my inference tomorrow but do let me know in comments what your thoughts are an extremely choppy week ends tomorrow it has been very difficult to trade however investment wise it has been fine till now The big thing to watch out for is will there be a big sell off ahead of the election results what happens after the result day on 4th of june will be depending upon the election results of course but embrace volatility it is not going to subside it is going to increase only one or two day wicks may subside you might have a good day but do expect few days which will be even more volatile than what you saw today thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow have a great day ahead